Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am showing some exercise for new learners in Revit. In Revit there will be like a parameters, so I am explaining about that one type of parameters uh, what we are using in Revit. So if you like my video, please subscribe my channel. So I'm going to the Revit. I open one for uh, file uh, project for here. So before that we need to know about the type of parameters and instant parameters so i'm just creating one uh, cable tray over here so going here just to make a cable tray and i just need to choose like a 900 mm cable tray over here and uh, another cable tray also i just making like a, a 600 okay so these two family uh, um, means two system parameters i added over system family i added over here so if you if you select the one of the cable tray so you will be get like a, this identifications over here so this is called instant parameters in the property you can get the cable tray cable tray types a different type if you want a ladder type so you can get it that one so these are the instant parameters and if you go to the edit type so this is the uh, type parameters so what are the family families are here types are there so that that is the um, family category like uh, types and uh, instant parameters so instantly you can add the information over here in the uh, instant parameters uh, showing over here and if you go to put some lights over here for example i'm just taking one light and just placing okay so just uh, just to select this one around 2500 offset so i'm just placing some lights also so you will be get the light properties uh, type uh, para, means uh, the light properties from here and everything okay so then we need to go to the manage then you can see here project parameters in the manage tab you will be get a project parameters from here the project parameters it means like uh, it is included in a project information only in a one project only so you will be get like you can uh, you can um, read this uh, these things uh, like it specifies parameters that can be added categories of elements in a project and use it in a schedule so that should not be like come it's in the family it, it is it is coming under the parameter under the project only so another one is the shared parameters so shared parameters uh, we can use in a multiple projects family we, we can add it in a like a lot of uh, another project also we can uh, add this one so specify the parameters that can be used in multiple families and projects multiple project we can add it we will saving that uh, parameters in a one for folder or somewhere in your computer so you can use it whichever project you are working or whichever family you need to add the information you can add it that one so use shared parameters add specific data that not already defined in a family file or project template shared parameters are stored in a file that independent of the family file or projects so that is a difference with the project parameters and uh, uh, shared parameters so how we can implement this thing i will show you so if you if you want to make it a project parameters click on that one so you can uh, you can create your own uh, specific i'm just removing whatever i created just uh, just removing this one remove and i just need to add one parameters over here so you can see here it can appear only schedule that will be appear only schedule only it will be appear so i just need to create like a cable tray manufacturer name or cable tray cable tray manufacturer otherwise i can just uh, uh, um, made made by something like that i just created so it you can you can use it as common or whichever things you can need to add in that one type of parameters i can put such a text and group under which one which which one you need to under which category it need to become okay so instant parameter is that one so visibility you can choose it any 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 one of things okay so i'm just uh, using like in the data and i need to choose from here which category is that one okay so our family category we need to choose it okay so for example i am choosing cable tray so i'm just selecting the cable tray just select it and click okay 
and click ok so once you taking uh, the schedule so it will uh, appear only or, or, or if you need to give a tag it will not appear that one okay so just uh, i'm just giving a tag so uh, in the annotation i'm just giving a tag so it will not appear that one if you select this one so then you can see here um, in the data made by it was showing over here so i'm just giving like made by baiju okay my name is Shudran. I'm just giving that data over here. So and then here also I'm selecting and I'm made by I'm just showing like uh, my name by Joy Shodran. And here this is also we can do it. Okay, so it, this is an another category. So it will not if you selected that one, it will not show because we are not uh, uh, done that one. So if you need to add some for the for for some lights are there. Okay, so copy this one. I just need to copy it, uh, some other lights also like this so this this category what we project project parameter we created thus that's only in the category under by cable drive so i need to just create another one just click ok like this add one and another one may light made by okay something like that i need to add it so you need to add it more 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 time like this so that is the project parameter so lighting made okay instant and i'm just uh, giving this one in the data and here i'm just giving a text and i'm choosing the category for the lighting fixes click ok click ok so if you if you select this this one lighting so you can see here that that is uh, come up over here so if you want to give a name for that one so you can give it that one okay so why jewish children you can give it so that will come once you go to the schedule so creating a schedule okay so i'm just creating schedule schedule and quantity so if you can um, choose the cable tray cable tray schedule double click so that was created so then you can search it here it was come up over here or not so we just um, made by so you can see here made by it was come up over here you can add it that one so in in like that you can added lot of things over here but now now we added that category in a cable tray in a cable tray category you can add it that one okay so just uh, i'm just adding some other thing also like length uh, size uh, something like that and click ok so automatically what will happen it will generate see you can see here that was generated over here like by joe shodran the made by by joe shodran that category is in the parameter for the project parameters so that is clear right <clears throat> so another thing is like uh, here you can see here uh, this was is not showing okay so just edit type edit family so what is happening here it is showing some service types service type okay in the in the this is like a uh, family tag tag family so if you go here so you can see here we don't have the any other information so over here so i'm just uh, giving okay and i'm loading the family so I am just selecting this one and from the instant I am just giving like a type name like a cable tray. Cable tray. Okay. So just I am giving cable tray so that will show up over here. So that is the uh, project parameters and this is the family and I just. So now I am taking to going to the shared parameters how we can create it. So shared parameter you can go to the manage tab so here you can see the shared parameter so it means uh, it is you can use in a multiple project or family that one so click on that just uh, leave it that this so they are already made at some informations about the shared parameters i'm just deleting that one just uh, delete it from here delete yes so i need to create one new so just uh, no i am just creating something like a cable tray made it so just save that one replace and uh, you can i can browse this one and uh, you can open it that things otherwise you can create new par new uh, groups over here so cable tray information something like that cable tray information so this can use it everywhere so that one you can create it and here you can just type uh, cable tray cable tray info one then here you can give a text param a text parameter and create new just a cable tray information two 
info 2 and I'm just creating this one as a text parameter click OK like that you can make it and click OK so if you want to add that one so just uh, I'm just uh, going here okay so the this is the family parameter for this one and I'm editing family editing this one so you just uh, I'm just uh, uh, selecting this one and I'm going here and I just need to remove this one and remove this one click OK so if you want to add new parameters shared parameters so you can add it from here so you can select from this shared parameter so cable tray information and uh, two is already here so just click on, on that one click OK so it will come up over here so you can add it that and another one you can you need to add select from here and cable tray information click OK click OK just added that one and we'll just go to again here edit edit this one and I'm just uh, removing this one from here service type remove and uh, something you can add from here select edit this one click ok information select it okay so that information also come up over here click ok so that two information coming up over here so you can give this one load into the project all right now we'll see if it's working over there go to the view schedules create a schedule so we can see like a cable tray and here here you can add that to whichever we created the shared parameters you can give it over here select here and just go here the shared parameters select that one so cable tray information you can add here click ok that will come up over here again you how many you just created so just uh, need to take it that one select from here information one click ok so then another one family uh, made by something like uh, made by okay so size service type anything you can add it so it will come up over in the our uh, information so you can add here informations about uh, uh, that one so here you can see the by Jewish other and all the already project parameters are come up over here so like that we can make the um, uh, uh, parameters shared parameters and uh, project parameters so project parameters it's included in a project only shared parameters it's included uh, uh, we you can you can save it in a desktop or somewhere so you can add the uh, lot of parameters over here like uh, which name anything you want you can add it over here at, that will come up in the schedules also so if you want to add uh, like in a more, more about that one so go to the view and take a schedules and uh, schedule and code it so some other things you can for example lighting fixes so just click ok and you can add the uh, parameter whichever you are creating the shared parameters you can take it from here select select from this one and share this one take this one click ok and uh, we need to add some other uh, shared parameters select from here name click ok click ok and uh, that will load it over here so automatically uh, once the cre this one created so it will it will come up over here all the informations and everything you can give it thanks for watching thank you